Hi friends, it's a very great day here at Kevala Farm as you can see. We have a lot of sunshine. And in today's video, I want to discuss with you how you can deal with a recurring cough. Um, many people, many farmers uh, reach out to me and they are asking, Lillian, how do you deal with this recurring cough and flu, which keeps on coming and then takes long time to get cured in the poultry. And uh, that situation, I've ever experienced it here at this farm. Um, the other chicken house uh, where I have 800 birds, those birds, they got cough. They were attacked by cough. And it was so persistent, it took, uh, it took me around three months to deal with it. That is the only time I was attacked by uh, the disease. I, I had never experienced any disease here at the farm, so I, I believe that is the reason why I took a long time to deal with that cough and flu. Because at first I didn't know how to deal with the, uh, I didn't know how to deal with chicken which get flu. So that is why it took me a lot of time. I bought a lot of antibiotics from the pharmacy. I lost a lot of money. That is why I tell most farmers that please make sure that you do anything possible to make sure that your birds are not attacked by any disease because i know what i experienced during that time i lost a lot of money buying the antibiotics and then at during that time the production went low it dropped from 90 percent up to 40 percent because those birds had just started laying and then the cough came in so on top of buying the antibiotics uh, the production had reduced and yet these birds had to continue feeding so i had to keep on buying the medicine uh, keep on buying the feeds to feed the birds so during that time i spent too much money i it was a loss for me it was a loss because during that time i spent around six million and just imagine treating only 800 birds. So you can imagine if you're having a very big number of birds at your farm, how much you can spend. So that is why I tell farmers, I try to tell them to make sure that you avoid diseases at your farm if you want to make money. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did because uh, I bought all the antibiotics that you can think about, all, all those antibiotics that you know i bought them i give to the birds but there was no change and then we reached at an extent of injecting these birds and i have come to know from my experience that when you inject the birds they take a longer period of time to for production to peak again because it took me time i even reached an extent of selling these birds but unfortunately those people who buy the chicken they don't they don't buy the younger chicken uh it's because the consumers on the market they like they prefer off layers they don't like this meat of birds which are still young so they were buying it at a very low price so i decided to keep them so they it took me some time for the birds to start gaining their production so in this video i want to tell you what exactly that i did uh, to make sure that my birds get healed it was my first time and it is the only time i've ever faced uh, a disease here at this farm i didn't know exactly what to do but from uh, that experience i've come to know that whenever you see that your birds get flu at your farm just know it is the hygiene in the chicken house which is uh, bringing all that uh, cough and flu that is what i observed from my experience because uh, all that time that i was buying the antibiotics i was just buying the antibiotics and then giving to the birds but when it was so persistent then uh, of course i had to think to make sure that the birds get well i had to think outside the box and my head whichever whichever thought came into my head i had to apply it so that is when i started uh, cleaning the chicken house 
entering the chicken house i started by removing all the litter and then i replaced with the new litter and then on top of that each and every after two days i would spray that uh, inside the chicken house and then we would spray all those feeders and then the laying nests so i tried to make sure that the hygiene inside the chicken house was so well and when i did that it was the beginning of the healing process of these birds and on top of cleaning the chicken house i started by giving my birds time i would enter each and every day and then pick out the birds uh, which were coughing uh, those which were badly off you know uh, when your chicken are sick there are those which are badly off and then there are those which are not badly off so I would pick all those birds that were badly off and moved them out. Of course, when the antibiotics failed, I had to resort to organic materials uh, because I called, uh, I called uh, my grandmother in the village. By the way, those grandmothers, uh, if you get a chance of talking to those old people, if you have them in the villages, talk to them and get knowledge on how they were treating their birds because for them they would not go to buy the medicine uh, in the villages there were no vet shops uh, so try to talk to them and find out how they used to take care of their birds it really works so i had to call my grandparent in the village and i talked to her because at this time I was so desperate, uh, the chicken were totally sick. Actually, it turned into to be Newcastle, and it had already affected their nervous system. But what helped me, uh, because I was treating them, they did not die. Because after all those months, I found I had lost only eight birds. So that is the only thing that helped me, they were not dying. So I called in the village and then they told me all those herbal medicines to use and I'm going to tell them to you and how to use them in this very video. So I would move each and every bird that is badly off outside and then I treat it separately. And after doing all that in just a few days, my chicken were able to get okay. They started picking, I saw the change and in a few days, they stopped coughing on the flu. You can imagine all the time that I had spent, all the two months that I had spent taking care of uh, the birds, giving them all the antibiotics that you know. But then my grandmother is the one who saved me, is the one who saved these birds that you're seeing here. And I believe is the one who gave me the smile that you're seeing on my face. The first thing that she told me was this. This is the tobacco. This tobacco, if you talk to those grandparents in the village, all those old people, they will tell you that this tobacco is a medicine for the chicken. So she told me this, and then she told me the aloe vera, and then ash, also the red pepper. And she also told me to use amoxicillin. So I used this tobacco and then aloe vera and then the red pepper uh, plus ash. And I also gave these birds amoxicillin and the birds were able to heal. So this is how to use these materials. You get everything. This tobacco and then you get the aloe vera plus the ginger, add in the red pepper and even ash mix everything put them in a saucepan and boil them and then you let you let the liquid cool for some time i'm even sweating uh, you let the liquid cool for some time and then you get and you give to your birds give keep on giving uh, the problem with us farmers we give for a few days and then we give up if you don't see the change then you give up but if your birds are badly off, you have to continue giving this <coughs> concoction up to the time when you see that your birds are okay. Like uh, my local birds here, when I had just brought them here, they got some cacof. And this is the concoction which I gave to the local birds. And within very few days, they were able to 
uh, get healed, get cured from this cough. So according to the situation that you have at your farm, you continue giving this concoction. And uh, what I did, uh, every bird that was badly off, we would move it out in the night. I would enter into the chicken house and then just stand. And whichever bird coughs, I would get it, move it out. And then we put the liquid in the syringe. We would give that liquid and we also give the amoxicillin to that bird. So within very few days, the birds uh, started the bird started getting okay and they completely got okay but our production took time to recover uh, because just as i have told you the the injection affected them so it took long for the birds to regain their production uh, that's how i was able to treat this cough which is so persistent in birds so if you're having that problem at your farm just start by cleaning your chicken house whenever you see cough and flu just know all all the all that is coming from the hygiene in your chicken house you clean the house and then you also clean the drinkers disinfect them make sure that the hygiene is okay and then you start by giving <coughs> all these other the medicine including these herbal remedies so this tobacco that you're seeing is so good to birds it is medicine for chicken and it can also be used to deworm the birds because it has the nicotine which can kill the worms uh, uh always uh, infested by these birds so and then also uh this tobacco if you're having uh chicken which are having fever it can also help to treat that and the bird becomes okay. Uh, sometimes you wake up and then in your, from your chicken house, from your birds, you find these birds which are sleeping. So you just get this, uh, you pound it, you get some liquid and you give to your bird. It is going to get fine. So use this tobacco, it's going to help you uh, to save your birds from dying at your farm. For our next lucky winner of Kevala t-shirt, please check in the comment section and you find yourself. Just send me your address. My contact is in the description. I'll be able to send the t-shirt to you, to your destination. With this information, I hope someone who is there and cough and flu is disturbing you, please follow all that we have talked about and please embrace the use of organic materials. They are really helping me so much. If you're new on this channel, my name is Lillian and this is Kevala Farm. I'm so passionate about poultry farming. That's why I left my job. I'm an auditor to come and deal and concentrate on this poultry farming. So if you subscribe to this channel, just be sure that you're going to get all the knowledge about poultry farming. So thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Let me see you in my next video.